Yuri Fedinsky on tour, a Ukrainian storyteller here from the battlefront. Back in June, his one-man show came to the Booksui Bookstore in Hamtramck. I take every invitation very seriously and, and try to make it out. These are all free events, right? I don't ch charge anybody anything. And I used to be Ukrainian-American, but I'm not anymore. Now I am a Ukrainian-American Ukrainian. Fedinsky grew up in North Carolina, but emigrated to Ukraine years ago. When the Russians attacked in February, he sent his Ukrainian wife and four kids to the U.S. But he stayed as bombs fell, carrying on with an old tradition as a Kovzar, a modern-day version, traveling and singing with his custom-stringed instruments, giving moral support to fellow Ukrainians. And I'm doing what the Kovzars did, basically playing a specific repertoire which was created to keep Ukraine Ukrainian, right? To, uh, to save our nation, our nationality, which uh, represents our values, who we are on a musical level, on an emotional level, basically a deal in cultural diplomacy, right? A wandering musician who can go everywhere. Early this summer, Fedinsky came in to join his family, then began his American Kobzar tour. I'm basically talking about my experience during the war, what I do during the war as a musician, reviving the lost Kobzar tradition, playing national instruments, the Kobza Bandura and Turban. Seeing the positive results of practicing this tradition, which was destroyed in 1933 by uh, Stalin, basically, uh, to make Ukraine a slave nation. Fedinsky builds these instruments himself. He says they're easier to make than to play. The bandura, he likens that to what we know as a zither. Because the bandura is the instrument that you don't have to depress anything. You don't have to fret. The kobzas, you do. The torban like the others, but with another set of treble strings. But these are sacred national Ukrainian instruments which most Ukrainians don't know. And how can that be? You know, can you imagine an American seeing guitar and saying, what is this? With the war on, Fedinsky's dispatches went to Facebook. Here, he and his crew of performers shelter in the Kharkiv subway as the city was attacked. When Putin is sending his forces to the east, right on the third month of the war, we decided that's the place for us to be. So we got in the car with me and four of my students, and we played hundreds of concerts during that month, mostly on the Eastern uh, Front. Uh, this is the cities of Kharkiv, Dnipro, Zaporizhia, Odessa, but also all, all points in Ukraine. As the Blues Brothers would say, it's a mission from God. <laughs> they went with me, you know, where I told them, if you don't want to go, I understand, you know, you might get killed. And at one point, I, I told them, I feel, you know, mortal danger. Uh, we very well may die. And if you want to get out, that this would be a good time. It's good that not everybody evacuated. There are still people in the cities. Uh, Putin wants us all to flee, to go to the West. And he can very simply take Ukraine uh, and, and conquer it. So what do you do? It's the spirit which, which defends the country. Now it's August. Vedinsky's going back to Ukraine, his family too, back to live, to a safe place, he says. Then he's headed to the front to serve, as a Kobzar, again. Uh, I'm convinced that they can't kill me. There's certain convictions I have. Uh, and this, you might consider this craziness. It might be completely crazy. I don't know. Music is very serious stuff. It's, I think Woody Guthrie had in his, his guitar, this instrument kills fascists. And it's true, it's true. Eternal memories. Glory to the heroes, Slavic Creighton and the Cosmos.